Hey guys, checking back with another video which aims to clear things up a little bit, mainly about the difference between a polygon based engine and a voxel based one. My experience is that there's a bit of confusion about where ShapeLab falls or about what this even means, so I figured it's time to talk about this. First of all, what we're talking about is the way your mesh is going to be built inside of a software. There are a couple of ways for a model to be built, one of them is when your sculpt is made of polygons. A polygon is a geometrical figure where three or more points define a plane. These points we call vertices. The line between two points is called an edge, and the plane that they form is called a face. Usually the topology consists of quads or triangles. With a lot of polygons you can basically imitate any kind of shape, these polygons will create a surface. This mesh is hollow, just like a blue. If your model on the other hand is made out of voxels, abbreviation for volumetric pixels, most of the time that means it's built from cubes. This model is going to be solid, its inside also has information. See, if the engine is voxel based, your scene is basically a 3D grid. The engine is going to check which part of the grid is full or empty and then create a mesh around it. This mesh is displayed by polygons but this polygonal mesh is recalculated every time you add something. Thing is, both systems are good depending on the situation. A voxel engine can easily add or subtract matter, whereas a polygon-based mesh can handle more detail. The reason for that is if you wanted to create a highly detailed voxel model, you would have to increase the resolution of your whole scene, as this solution uses a preset grid. With a polygon-based solution, you can create detail locally, as the finer parts can have denser topology. Again, this mesh is hollow, while voxel mesh has information inside as well, so if you increase resolution, you increase the amount of information inside as well. While other VR creative apps are generally on the voxel-based side, regular modeling softwares mostly use polygon-based engines, but that doesn't mean that voxel calculations are completely off the table. For example, we have a voxel remesh, the tool I use for demonstrating the grid, with which the topology is converted into voxels, then immediately gets converted back. This is not only for creating an even topology, but it also cancels out unnecessary intersection, or it's a fast and all-around great solution for merging. Just a quick demo about how powerful ShapeLab is due to being polygon-based. See this room I'm sculpting? Check this out. You can see that this room is in process, but really? It's surrounded by this. So hope all of this makes sense to you guys. If you got any questions, join our Discord server now. We're always happy to help. For more helpful videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you guys in the next one.